hello and welcome back to this channel once again in today's video we are going to solve questions to prepare ourselves for the upcoming NovDec core mathematics paper we are going to solve a question on trigonometry that is NovDec 2008 question 11 so this question is in two parts we have a and then b we are going to start off with part a if 8x plus 2 is equal to 5 find x correct to the nearest degree if 8 sine x plus 2 is equal to 5 find x correct to the nearest degree let's solve this question together so that is 1a we are given the question 8 sine x plus 2 is equal to 5 now 8 sine x is one term 2 is another term and then 5 is also another term now to find the value of x first of all we are going to transpose 2 to the right hand side so this becomes 8 sine x equals 5 minus 2 and this is equal to 3 therefore we have 8 sine x equals 3 now because we want to find the value of x we are going to divide through by 8 and then we have sine x equals 3 over 8 and this is the same as 0 0.375 therefore sine x is equal to 0 0.375 To find the value of x, x is equal to sine inverse of 0 0.375 and then sine inverse of this value is equal to 22.0243. We are asked to leave our answer correct to the nearest degree. Therefore, x is equal to 22 degrees so this is the value of x now let's focus on part b so for part b two towers a and b are 48 meters and 30 meters high respectively tower a lies to the west and b to the east of a man 1.5 meters tall from the man's eye level the angles of elevation of the top of a and b are 66 and 28 degrees respectively calculate correct to three significant figures the distance between a and b so let's solve this question together as well from the question we are told that two towers a and b are 48 meters high and 30 meters high respectively tower a lies to the west and b to the east of a man 1.5 meters tall so assuming that this is the man that is 1.5 meters tall and then we have tower a which is to the west of the man so this is tower a and this is 48 meters 48 meters high and then we have tower b which is 30 meters high to the east of the man so this is tower a and then we have tower b also 30 meters high now from the man's eye level the angles of elevation of the top of a and b are 66 degrees and 28 degrees respectively so if the man is 1.5 meters tall then it means that the eye level will be around the same height so this is the eye level of the man so if the man wants to look at the top of tower a then it's going to make an angle of 66 degrees with the horizontal so this angle is 66 degrees also for tower b if the man wants to look at the top of tower b then it's going to make an angle of 28 degrees 
with the horizontal now let's label this diagram so we have a o b this is c d we have e f and then g so this is going to be the ground now we are going to calculate to three significant figures the distance between a and p now to solve this question what we are going to do is we are going to consider each of these two triangles that is triangle g e f and then triangle g c d and then we find the distance g e and then g c now the distance g e is the same as the distance a o and the distance g c is the same as the distance o b so after finding these two values we can add them and that's going to be the distance between a and b so first of all from triangle g e f this is triangle g e f we are going to find the distance g e now if the man is 1.5 meters tall and tower e is 48 meters high then it means that the distance e f is 48 minus 1.5 and that is 46.5 meters also for cd that's going to be 30 meters minus 1.5 meters and that is 28.5 meters now back to our solution so from triangle gef we say that tan 66 degrees is equal to now tan is opposite over adjacent so the opposite is ef so the distance ef over the distance or the length ge so that is tan 66 degrees equals 46.5 divided by ge now let's interchange the position of ge and then tan 66 so that is the distance ge is equal to 46.5 divided by tan 66 so that is going to be 46.5 divided by tan 66 is equal to 2.2460 therefore we have the distance ge to be equal to 20.70 meters and that is equal to the distance ao so that is equal to distance AO. Therefore, the distance AO is equal to 20.70 meters. So from triangle GCD equals the distance CD divided by gc so tan 28 degrees is equal to cd over gc so tan 28 degrees is equal to we have the distance cd to be 28.5 meters divided by gc so we have gc to be equal to 28.5 divided by tan 28 degrees and that is equal to 28.5 divided by we have tan 28 to be equal to 0 0.5317 so when you simplify this you have 53.60 meters so that is the distance gc and this is also equal to the distance ob therefore ob is equal to 53.60 meters now to find the distance between a and b 
the distance between A and B is equal to the distance AO plus the distance OB. So we say that the distance between A and B or the distance AB is equal to AO plus OB. We have AO to be 20.70 plus OB to be 53.60. So when we add the two, we have 74.30 meters. Now we are asked to leave our answer correct to three significant figures. So that is 74.3 meters. So this is the distance between A and B.